It has all the characteristics of a disaster. Lights and sirens, unresponsive patients and emergency crews rushing to the scene. But in this instance, there's no real need to panic. What's happened behind us is they've set up a mock scenario. A commercial plane packed with passengers crashing into a fighter jet. A disaster no one wants, but it must be planned for. We are 100% focused on the safety of the people that come and go from this, this airport and it's really important that we, uh, we test our plans and test our uh, response to any kind of aviation emergency. And we had to respond um, within our KPIs, which is 180 seconds, and have at least 90% effective knockdown rate on the fire. We've still got five people on board that are unresponsive and we're working towards getting them off the aircraft. The exercise called on almost 100 volunteers and emergency crews. My role was to be an unresponsive uh, male of my age, uh, basically just to lie there. Some taking their acting debut more seriously than others. Big laceration in my right thigh. Can we ask you a quick question? Excuse me, miss. For the personnel here today, this is the ultimate test of disaster response. It's an essential component of preparedness, and it could be the difference between life and death in a real situation. With so many controls in place, an emergency like this is unlikely. But today is a reassuring result for the millions of passengers who travel through the airport. They're very thorough in their checks, um, even just hearing the way they talk to you and the way they're trying to identify you if you are unresponsive. Um, so they, they take every step to make sure that I'd be cared for. The response today has been absolutely outstanding. Um, the involvement of all the agencies will learn from today as well. But you know what? We're really, really pleased. Put through their paces and prepared for anything. Roxanne Fitzgerald, ABC News.